Hey guys, welcome to another exciting chapter of Kerbal Space Explosion. I think we will go with that for the official title for the series. I think it's going to be fitting. So let's get in the hangar. Let's build something new. Okay, so today I want to work on um, getting the hang of using different stages on my rockets. I'm going to use this guy, the Command Pod Mark 1. It is quite small. It's the sort of the small sized command pod. Let me zoom out here. I think it only uh, it only holds one Kerbal. Let's come over here and let's grab the Mark 16 parachute. Kersplooch. Okay. Um, so I actually, I just recorded basically an entire episode of Kerbal Space Explosion and I couldn't get something to work. So what I was doing is I was trying to use the LVT45 uh, liquid fuel engine, and I was using this guy, the Mark I fuselage. But if you see it says jet fuel on that, um, this was a liquid fuel engine, and this says, if you look there, it says it has liquid fuel. And I couldn't get the engines to fire. It took me a while to figure it out. But um, if you see in the... The, the window there, it says propellants. Liquid fuel, 0.9, oxidizer, 1.1. Aha. So I looked back down here. This only has liquid fuel. But if we look at this guy, this has liquid fuel and oxidizer. So I was using the wrong fuselage. I spent like about an hour trying to figure out what was wrong with my rockets. And I finally figured it out. So we're going to use this. The FL T400 fuel tank. Uh, that guy's too big, so we're gonna do two for there, and I think I'm actually gonna use this guy. Uh, these guys are gimbling, so they're easy to change direction. I don't really care about that just yet. Uh, we will get to that. Another problem I had last time, when we had the hilarious confusion of the parachute and the rockets firing at the same time. If you look down here, we only have one stage currently, so when I hit the space bar, both my parachute and my rocket are going to fire at the same time. So I hit the plus to add a new stage. And drag that rocket down there. Now they will fire separately. Okay, so that's good. Next, uh, I want to do some fun coupling things by multiplying the amount of rockets I have. So let's, let's start simple and then go crazy. We're going to start with the stack bicoupler which will divide our rocket in twain. They're also, um, you can go from like the big rocket into two smaller ones, the big rocket into four smaller ones. You can go from a small rocket into a big rocket or maybe a super small rocket into a medium rocket. Oh, then this one is the normal size into a larger rocket. There's a lot of different ways you can go from one size to another or multiply. Right here, we've got a quad coupler, which I do want to play with. Don't worry about that. Um, and then there are these, which I think I may need. Yeah, designed for slicing the largest of rockets in twain. I think I may actually need that to, uh, uh, to separate things into stages for the things to separate. So let's actually, let's take this off. Let's put that there. Where do I put this? Oh, that thing's huge. Okay. That's too small. There we go. Okay. Um, would it go there? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I hope that works. We'll see. We'll, we'll find out. This is going to be quite a bit the case of trial and error. If it doesn't work one way, try it again. Hopefully I won't have to delete this entire footage and start over again because nothing works. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go. We're gonna do that, and we're gonna raise it up. Then we'll come back. Where were those? Over here. Stack decoupler. I hope I'm putting these at the right spot. I think I am because you want. Oh, ooh, that's the wrong one. And then these are all going. Are those automatically... Well, I'll, I'll look at it later. Okay, but but first, let's get a few more of these bicouplers. And if I hit E, I can rotate it. That took me a little while to figure out. At first, I didn't think that was possible. But it is. And then we're going to grab 
two more of these fuel tanks per uh, per available slot here. We've gone from one to two to four. And I think that's what I'll call this first rocket with any degree of complexity whatsoever. We're going to call it the one, two, four. And oh, also, that reminds me. Here, let me put the rockets on. That reminds me. Um, I found the folder in the the save game folder or the uh, the the game files where the flags are located. It's just a folder with uh, PNGs in it, and so I made some. You can see I made three. These are from my fan art competition, and you can get these on T-shirts if you want. So I think we're gonna start with that one. There's <laughs> there's my flag. Yeah, woo. Uh, okay, so we have decouplers at each level. And when I put the decouplers on, it sort of automatically separated these guys into stages. Before, they were all just sort of in one. Maybe because I was using the wrong fuel tanks, but it seems to have done this correctly. So these are going to fire first. When they run out, I'll separate them. Then we'll fire these. When they run out, we'll separate this. Do these need to be on separate uh, stages? Let's do this, just in case. And then the parachute will be last. Let's see if that works. Okay, here we go. Um, Yeah, do I have RCS on this thing? Or SAS, rather? I guess I do. Let's go ahead and turn that on, just so we go straight up and down. And throttle up. And five, four, three, two, one, fire! Here we go. Good. And let's just try and go straight up. How long are these gonna last? We're accelerating nicely. And ba basically, I just want to try and get the hang of the stages before I make things any more complicated. And don't worry, <laughs> we're gonna get quite a bit more complicated. That's what I. That's my main. Uh, the main thing I've been looking forward to is making stupidly overcomplicated rockets with all kinds of thrusters and boosters and whatnot on them. Uh, but first we have to get the hang of how this works and then eventually of um, how to uh, fly the damn thing and aim at things. Let's actually... Let's try this. Is it going to lock on? Will it stop? Is it going to hold the position? I didn't put any thrusters on. Maybe that's for RCS. I don't know. I'm still kind of uh, not sure what I'm doing. Oh. Okay. Separate. Oh, it did work. Oh. Did I blow them up? I think I blew them up or I let, like I shot them downwards or something. But it worked. And we are out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. So that's a success. Let's try and roll over a little bit. Roll over, Rover. Good dog. Okay, let's stop. No, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I think I need some sort of... Maybe I do want to use the gimbling rockets because it's hard to, like... Urgh. Yeah, let's just go right there. Right there. I don't know what that was. Something just lit on fire and flew off the rocket. Let's just go like this. Uh, let's see what we're doing. So we have an apoapsis of 44 kilometers and rising. Okay, good, I guess. <laughs> Don't know if that's good or not. Bill Kerman is freaking out a little bit. And our this stage is about to run out of fuel. It looks like we may actually be successful and not crash and burn. Okay, there we go. Let's let that separate. Okay, this, that separates a little slowly. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> Kaboom! Yeah, I like that. That's better. I think it should be... <laughs> we should be in constant fear of exploding at all times. So let's go right there. And uh, are we... Oh, do we have some... F yeah, we do have a funky orbit, don't we? Look at that. Okay. And how do I cut the... Is it Z? Oh, my. Look at this. This is a stupid orbit. Okay, let me uh, halt. <laughs> let me halt there. <laughs> Look at this wonky orbit. Oh my gosh! Let's go back. 
And I don't know how any of this works yet. I don't know why that mark is yellow <laughs> if we're aiming towards something in particular. And if I spin my rocket around, we don't have any other marks. So I assume that right there is the opposite. 180 degrees spun around. And can I grab this and drag it? No. Okay, so let's just keep it like this for a minute. And maybe we'll uh, slingshot around the planet and then crash into the... Oh gosh, yeah, crash back down. Let's see, well, you know what? Let's just see how stupid we can make this orbit. Let's spin this way. And throttle up. There we go. No, no, go that way. No, no. Whoa, what's happening to my camera? Camera, stop it. I want to look this way. Yeah, go that way. <laughs> oh, oh man, the camera does not like me. Okay, let's go to, uh, is it this button? There we go, camera free. That's what I'm looking for. And we are about to run out of fuel. We haven't died yet. Haven't died yet. What if, oh my god. Where are we going? Oh, did I just send him into, what is this? See this yellow thing? Sun periapsis. What the heck? I don't know what that is. Are we are we sending our Kerbinot into outer space? Kerbin es Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry, Bill. I think you well it's for science. It'll be good for science. We have just we haven't crashed, we haven't exploded, but what we've done is we've sent We've sent Bill Kerbin into, or Kerbal, wait, is it Kerbin or Kerbal? Bill Kerman, yeah. We've sent Bill Kerman into the depths of space, the cold, lonely depths of space, where he will never see another soul, and where he will slowly freeze to death as his capsule runs out of power. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's try something a little different. Here is my next rocket, the Khufu-1. Khufu is the pharaoh responsible, or at least credited, with building the Great Pyramids of Giza, and I kind of built a pyramid shape. Each of these stages only has one fuel cell, uh, but I divided it by overlapping these tricouplers, and I'm not sure if this is going to malfunction and make things explode. We're going to find out. And at the bottom, we've got 10 boosters. And I'm, I just, I'm just kind of curious to see how quickly we can accelerate. Uh, we'll build, like, stable smart rockets later. For now, I just want to be a little silly. So let's see what this does. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch! Yeah, oh, God! Okay, do a loop-de-loop. -loop. It is very unstable. I think I need... I didn't turn SAS on. That's the thing. Oh, that's Arceus. Go this way. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Let's revert to launch and turn SAS on. Okay. SAS on. Throttle up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. No, no, no. Oh, God. Very unstable. Oh, God. Very unstable. Okay, I think I will switch to the gimbaline rockets. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, man. Okay, the engines have been swapped out for the gimbaline variety. Apparently, this is not the flag that I'm supposed to have here. I don't know why that flag is there. Uh, let us turn SAS on. Throttle up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh my. No, no, keep your heading. No, stay, stay on target. No, 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 no. Oh God. Go, shoot. Oh, we're kind of. No, no. <laughs> oh man. The, at least this stage won't last very long. Oh, how do I make this more stable? Oh my. No, no, oh god, no, 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 stop it, Rocket. Stop it, you're drunk, Rocket. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can ride ourselves a little bit. 
and apparently I blew off some of my rockets there. I'm going to try to turn around, then I'm going to light this stage. Here we go, and let's just go ahead and fire. No, 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 stop it. Oh, God. Yeah, spin that way. Spin that way. Why is this so unstable? No, no, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Okay, next, next. Oh, this, this is so unstable. Why are you going so wonky? I turned SAS on. Isn't that what that's for? To stabilize stuff? No, not in the water. No. <laughs> Look at all the parts landing. Oh my gosh. Okay, welcome to the crap. That was the Khufu the second. What's the problem? Instability. What's the solution? More power. So I added two more layers to the pyramid. Apparently it's a little unstable when you overlap that many of those tricouplers. The, the game really didn't want to let me do that. Let's see, can we start it anyway? Let's just revert to launch. Let's try that one more time, see what happens. Uh, I tried to add a lot more power. Apparently, it's not going to work quite like that. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Come on. Fingers crossed. Khufu the second. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! I'm sorry for the, the Kerbonauts whom I have just uh, obliterated who are now a figment of the universe's imagination. So, um, I would like to add a lot of rockets onto a rocket and shoot things off and make it really powerful. I was kind of wanting to figure out how fast I could accelerate something. And I think we're going to have to try a different tact because overlapping the tricuff, uh, the tricouplers, that's not working. So I think, um... We will resume this next time. Let me know what you think in the comments. We will see you next time in Kerbal Space Explosion, Episode 3, next time. See you guys later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.